welcome to day 19. I was praying this morning with my family and my sister, she shared this picture with me, which really spoke into my heart about what is God saying to this generation? What is God saying now? She shared the picture with me, which was of my ancestors, my grandmother, my great grandparents, passing a torch, holding a torch in their hands and looking at our generation, looking at my family, my brothers and sisters, and asking us the question, are you going to carry this torch? You see, in the Olympics, they have that age old tradition of lighting the torch, passing it on. See, that comes from a history, a a journey of people carrying this torch, carrying this light, running their race and then passing it on to the next generation, passing it on to the person who's going to run the next leg. And as I thought about that picture, I thought about what I've been reading recently. We've been reading about great people of revival. We've been speaking about revival. You see, I hear the Lord asking us right now, are you going to pick up the torch? Are you going to carry this torch for the next leg? So there is a torch that is before us. There is a light that is before this generation. I've been reading about how Billy Graham came to England in the 1950s. He turned up, pitched up his tent, and stayed here for weeks and just preached the gospel and saw revival in London. I've been reading about how John Wesley rode around on his horse around the English countryside would stand outside, open up his Bible and would preach and saw revival. I've been reading about Haslam, who was in Norfolk, who was a pastor, who went around different churches, shared the gospel and saw revival. But all that happened hundreds of years ago. Those men are all dead. And I hear the Lord say, who is gonna step up in this generation? Who will be my people today? Not last century. We can't rely on the previous revivals. It is up to us to seize our own, up to us to step into our own, to seek God for our own move, a fresh move of his spirit. You see, it writes in the Old Testament about David, who God raised up to be king, that he was a man who had a heart after God's own heart. There wasn't anything special about him, wasn't anything special about these men, except that they set their hearts to seek God and laid down everything in order to pursue that one goal, to pursue righteousness. And there's this verse in Acts 13 that Paul says, Let it be known to you, therefore, brothers and sisters, that through this man, Jesus, forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. And by him, everyone who believes is freed from everything that their own efforts couldn't do. Belief in Jesus frees us from everything. You are free to pick up this torch. You are free to run this race. It is up to us in this generation to stand up and say yes. Yes to God. Yes to being the people who are going to pick up this torch and seek the things of God, who are going to stand in the breach. So I see this torch before us, the torch of past revivals, past men and women of God, looking to us, asking us, 
are we going to carry it on? And so I want to leave you with these three questions for you to answer. Not for someone to answer for you, but for you to answer them. If not now, then when? If not here, then where? And if not us, then who? Revival starts with us. Revival starts in our hearts. We make that decision to surrender and lay our lives down for Jesus. If not now, when? If not here, where? If not who? Us. Young people, let us pray. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would stir our hearts over these three questions. I thank you for the cloud of witnesses that surround us, the men and women who have gone before us. I thank you for the torch, the baton that is in front of us, Lord. Young people, I have made the decision in my heart. I know many of you have made that decision as well, but I call you once more to pick up the things of God for now. Now is the time. Make that decision in your heart. Know that Christ's forgiveness frees you from everything. There is no longer need for hiding. The devil, he is backsliding. I want to share these words with you. That at last, here we come. The great battle of our time. Many things will pass away, but we will shine. Young people, are you with me?